Hey guys, this is Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEB Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, I'm outside again. This is two days in a row. I'm trying to stay out of the sun so I don't spontaneously combust. For what it's worth, I don't like garlic a whole lot either. So, I did the video yesterday on a tiger tail and what that looked like and what that did to our signal, our SWR with the meter. And I got a couple comments out of it that I thought bared looking at so i wanted to mention those comments number one several people said son you're that's not a tiger tail that thing is way too long you need to shorten it up so length does matter apparently um sometimes shorter is better so i did a little more research and i thought about this after the video but i didn't come back and do it and i should have so my bad and you're right length does matter on something like this you don't want an eight foot piece of wire hanging on the ground i also got another comment from uh hollywood wecb 640 in youtube um, and he pointed out that swr is not the whole story because a dummy load has a perfect swr true statement however for the average ham swr tells you at least an idea of how well your antenna is functioning as part of your whole transmission system. There are other factors, how much power is getting out versus how much you're putting in, all sorts of things like that that you have to take into consideration. But an SWR is a great index for how well the overall system is working at a glance without having to deep dive into it. So we're gonna keep using it for this video today. So what I've got today is our same setup from yesterday, the rig expert my new and improved much shorter tiger tail we're going to test this at two meters and at 70 centimeters and then i'm going to cut this down to about six and a half inches and we'll see if that's even better uh, i expect it should be on two meters but not necessarily on 70 centimeters so let's get to it okay so here is uh our signal stick on 444 444 and as you can see we're getting about a five 5.1 or so and this is our 19 inch tiger tail. And if we clamp that on the shield, that drops us down to 3.8 to four. So a definite improvement. Let's go down to two meters and see what this looks like. So let me change this real quick. All right, there's the SWR with the tiger tail hanging off of it. 1.5, 1.6, not bad at all. We take it off, 3.5, huge difference, huge difference in performance. So SWR, what that means is that you're standing wave ratio, and that's gonna give us an indication of how much power we're able to get out. The higher that number, the less power is getting out of our antenna and more is getting reflected back into the antenna. So let me uh, make some modifications to our 19 inch tiger tail and cut it down to about six and a half or seven inches and we'll try this little test again. Okay, we're still set on two meters and we're getting about a three and a half. So now we're gonna use a six, six to seven inch tiger tail. Same procedure as before, clamp it on the shield. Hmm, not so much at two meters this time. Not so much at all. Let's change to 70 centimeters. Five point three with the tiger tail clamped on and five point nine to six with it off. So there you go. That's gonna be about it. Um, what does that tell you? It tells you if you're gonna do this, it can make a significant difference, but you need to cut the tiger tail for about half the wavelength of the frequency you're trying to use. So depending on what you're doing, 19 inches 20 inches somewhere in that neighborhood seems to work really well if i was trying to do this for reals what i would do is be cut about a two foot piece of wire and then start trimming it like you trim an hf antenna same deal it's the same exact principles this is essentially acting as an artificial ground plane and it will change the swr of the antenna system now the only other thing that i'd like to do and, and hollywood mentioned this as well and it was a great idea is if I had an RF signal strength meter, which I made one, I'm not entirely sure where I put it. So I'm gonna have to pass on that today. I may come back to this little operation next week. I have one coming. 
um, and we'll try it and we can actually see the difference in radiated power off the antenna as we add this little doohickey on. So guys, that'll do it for today. If you would, make sure you've clicked the dingus below and subscribed to the channel. My stats show that about 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. You should subscribe. It'll make you feel good. It'll straighten your spine. It'll cause your hair to grow back. It'll make you happy. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post any other new videos and give me a thumbs up if you would. Guys, have a great day. 73.